Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Angular, we will learn about basic routing and we will create two or three pages with the help of uh, simple routing. So first of all, we will create a new Angular application. So why we are not using our previous application? Why we are just making a new application? The reason is whenever we are installing Angular application, that time uh, command line basically ask the question that do we want to install routing also with our project? So that time some guys maybe miss that step. So I just want to everything from scratch. That's why we will install our new Angular application. After that, we will create three components, which is a home component, user and about. And we will apply routing on these pages, these components and convert them in our pages. And at the last, we will discuss some important interview questions related to routing. So first of all, let's uh, just go to the folder and open the command line. And here I am installing new Angular application. So just uh, simply put here new uh, ng new and let's say my application name is routing blog. And before just processing it, it will ask a question about routing. Here you can see that would you like to add Angular routing? So if we just say no, that means we are not installing routing in our project but for a moment we need that that's why we are just putting here y and after that it will ask that we want to use the sas css and all and this is totally up to you you can choose any way to uh, make your style and after that it will just take a moment to install all these things all right now our application is ready to use so let's open it with the visual studio code first of all we have to go inside the folder so just put here routing blog name and just open it with the code dot command and we can also just run here ng serve while we are writing code it will just ready to use also ready to start also all right so now how we can just get to know our routing is installed or not in our project so first of all just get to the src folder then app folder and here you will find app dot routing dot module that means routing is installed in your project right so now what we need to do uh, we need a three component so let's open a terminal here so that we can just uh, create command uh, some components and use here ng g for generate c for component and our component name so our first component name can be let's say home let's enter it and after that we will create two more components and we have to write a small chunk of code to set up the routing and after that let's simply put here uh, about and uh, about and you can also so so, so, so we don't, we don't need, need, need uh, this terminal in L and source so more can okay. simply close it and after that let's uh, open here uh, our uh, app dot component dot html and here you can see that we can remove, remove, remove it. first of all I want, I want to cover our application on on on, on the, the, the browser Let me open here 4200 port and here you can see that this is our output. So I'm just going to remove all this code. This is not useful for a moment and I'm just putting here a small h1 tag which is let's say code step by step or something. This is working fine. Now we want to render our component as a pages. So let's open the app.component.module and here you will find that there is a routers array. So inside it, let's just create some object. So we need a object for every route. So first of all, I am just loading here a component. And let's say our component name is, uh, let's say about. And uh, 
within that we can also put here path so let me put here our path on which path we want to open that component we want to open it on about so let's say i will write here uh, about then i want to that open this about component right and uh, with the same way we need two more components first one is let's say another one is a uh, user component and last one is whenever we are just entering it they are automatically imported from here because uh, our browser basically uh, well supported to this kind of intelligence and all and at the last let's import home component and we don't want to add any path to the home it will be open on the root route so root basically so we can just leave it blank and for a moment you will find that if i am just removing it you can see that everything is working fine but first thing is that if we are just putting here home component up at a blank there should be our home component but this is not visible and second thing is we want to just move these uh, uh, routes over on the about and home and all so how we can just move over these components so for that we need our uh, links here so let me just simply put here links so just use a anchor tag and uh, you can just simply put here home this is a uh, visible now for a moment here you can see that but this is not actually the angular route so let me create it in the angular route and let's put here router link so that whenever i will just click on this link we can open a specific route so by default home is our blank route and we need two more routes one is about and keep in mind this route link should be same as your path right even uh, spelling and uh, cap sense also and last one is user like this now you can find all these urls but uh, they are not looking good so i am just putting here a line break between them home about any and you can see that the link is also working fine here but there is a no component yet now because we need here a, a router outlet also so just simply put here router outlet and now you will find that we are able to see the component user component as according to the route about component according to the route and whenever we are clicking on a home our default route is here so if you are very familiar with the components that that maybe you know that how this uh, content is from where this component is actually coming and if you are beginner and you don't know how this text is actually visible here so this is actually coming from our component so you can just check out our uh, text uh, that uh, text is coming from here and uh, there is our uh, user text and there is our home text also and if you want then you can modify also so let me put here let's say home page or something and here we can put here uh, about page or something whatever you want to put right and we can add here a uh, lots of other code also let's say you just want to write about your company our about your life and anything then you can just write here and it will be look like a complete page here so here you can see that home about and users are working fine we just changes of two things uh, one is we just converted our page works to the page and another one which just change that uh, tag also and here we just added the page that's why just small changes are here so even you can uh, add here more changes also so that's all for this video we are just created a three small pages and in the upcoming video we will learn that how we can create more things how we can add uh, dynamic routes how we can add 404 and much more so one interview question uh, for that video so how we can pass here some data like uh, here you can see that the user and i want to pass my username or user id here so how i can do it here you can see that uh, even in the slide shows whenever i just put my page name after that it have a deck and uh, it's some id and edit and all so how we can just do all these things with our routing 
so you can comment your answer if you want and i will give you the answer in these all questions in the next video thank you so much for watching this video